Alright, here is my in-laws cargo trailer conversion that they built around the same time that I made mine. Turned out absolutely beautiful. It is a 7 by 16 by 7 foot tall uh, rock solid cargo trailer from same Douglas, Georgia where they're made. Got it directly from the factory. Uh, had it customized. They added some nice large windows, um, an upgraded trim package. They have the one-piece roof. Um, of course, the, the the doors, the door, the side door was customized. Its location. Um, so definitely not an, an average cargo trailer, but. Um, certainly is a pretty one um, they equip theirs with Rome Adventure awnings he has one in the rear and two on the sides he of course has it wired for electric and plumbed for water I'll show you the awnings out in a little bit. Uh, got a nice window in the door, nice and large. Lets a lot of nice light in. Uh, nice cargo box on the front. He added stabilizers to each corner that are really easy to use, but they're very low profile. Here's the back ramp door down. Um, he used the same stabilizer legs that I used on mine. And uh, really nice and rugged, holding up very well. Been using them now for a couple years. Really makes for a nice deck platform. But he has something special that he added that I'm quite jealous of. He has a screen that retracts two halves that meet in the middle on an aluminum frame and that is really really nice simple to use not very expensive I uh, believe he got the whole kit from I think it was either Lowe's or Home Depot but I, I'm thinking Home Depot but uh, very nice very clean and yet he just trimmed it out so that he can still operate the ramp doors just fine. Um, built a little frame for it. Here's the awning in the rear. Um, out with a couple of chairs on the deck. Starting to set it up so we can show you different options that they have it set up for. Designed to fit his motorcycle. In there just the same way that I designed mine so we'll be showing you a little later on how that works but it works really nicely a lot of versatility I'll show you the other awnings open now there's two eight-foot awnings as I said it's 16 feet long so you can fit two eight-footers really nicely which gives you options you can open one or the other or both on the side and with the rear one out as well and you you can have the rear um, opened up without having to have the ramp door down it's just nice to set it up this way but uh, yeah you can have the awnings out but the whole whole camper is all closed up so although there is a gap in between them it's it still provides you with all the shade that you need for the most part and uh, it, it makes it simpler for one person to, to put up and take down as well so here's their camp setup um, as you know cooking on the inside even though they have a, a kitchenette it's not ideal that's kind of what you do on rainy days but uh, if you can cook outside and make camp outdoors that's 
better way to go. So with the awnings, it, it makes the outdoor space even more usable and really nice. Um, so it's, it really, I just can't say enough good things about it. Um, it's a really nice setup that they have. I still have to work on mine some more. And if you haven't seen that video, um, it's also on my channel. take you inside and uh, although our designs are very similar um, at least the layout I will say theirs is just so pretty <laughs> uh, sometimes when you work on something yourself you don't you don't always look at it the same way but when you see someone else's work you ha can have a different appreciation for it but there's just uh, their fit and finish is, is really pretty Really beautiful and, and very, very functional. Uh, fully plumbed water for their sink and their kitchenette. Um, I think he has about eight outlets in here. And he also has LED lighting flush mount in the ceiling, which is really convenient. There's their fold-down bed. Uh, you move the mattresses out from the couch position and uh, becomes a, a queen size bed, which we'll show you a little later. Again, lots of storage under the bed, up in the cabinets. Um, they have a bookcase here with a fold down table. I'll show you that in a little bit. Really cozy. 16 feet is a really nice size. Ours being 14 is, is plenty roomy enough for us, but certainly nice to have an extra two feet. Electric fireplace, TV. Nice and bright. Uh, I really give credit to my mother-in-law for how, how it's decorated. Beautiful job. And uh, oh, again, this screen is just super deluxe. What a nice feature to have. You can use the magnetic screen, but it's possible this is kind of the way to go. Really, really nice. Everything's just really nicely tucked, tucked here and there. Lots of room. They have the same, well, they have a larger air conditioning unit than, than I have. It's a similar, it's the same style, but uh, it does seem to do a, a really nice job of keeping it cool in there. Their IKEA kitchenette, but see, they have more storage, which is really nice. Full, full water hookup, so they have hot, hot water on demand. Um, as long as you're hooked up to, to water. Works beautifully. They have their really nice barn door. And their cabinet for storage. He did a really nice job. When you're not needing your AC, you just hide it away. Has magnets on the doors. A lot of good space, nicely organized, works really nicely. They've used this now, I believe, three or four times and have camped as much as a week at a time. And they said they weren't sure how it was going to actually feel, but it's very comfortable. You have really everything you need and uh, it, it feels roomy in there. Well, it's no 35 foot camper, but with a with a efficient layout, you have everything in its proper place, and it, it feels plenty large. Same, or I should say, similar uh, bathroom setup to what I did, although I'd say it's even even more deluxe. Got the max air fan up in the ceiling, nicely. Organized, it's got storage behind the cabinet, 
He's got all his electrical tucked away down back in there underneath um, with hanging storage above. Gotta have one of those max air fans. They just work so well. Camflux water heater. He's got nice corrugated shower walls and the curtain that same track system that I actually he found it. I was the one who used it first. But uh, yeah, really, really nice. Simple setup. Got a good use of space. And uh, yeah, watertight. Works beautifully. I have to show you that uh, table in just a second. Here's the bookcase table that folds down really slick. Um, you've probably seen them before in other applications. That's just a really nice option for a uh, camper like this or tiny house. It's nice to be able to have a table to use when you're inside and not taking up counter space. So, yeah. I really like it. I'll show you the the bed. Uh, you move the two mattresses out of the way, fold the bed down, put the mattresses back, and voila! You have a queen size bed and a nice comfy place to sit next to the electric fireplace at night <laughs> or watch some TV or movies or something, depending on what the weather's doing outside while you're camping. It's really nice, nice look, especially with the lights out. So really, here is the uh, the whole reason why we we decided to do cargo trailer conversions in the first place is because we wanted to be able to go camping, take our motorcycles, and and be able to do it efficiently. So, you know, I really like that he has the awnings. Um, it means when you, when you get where you're going and you park your bike outside, you can keep it out of the rain for the most part, and uh, plenty of room still to move around. So, I'll go ahead and show you with the bed in the couch position this is the area that we designed to have the motorcycle so we get the motorcycle inside we do not have it strapped down here but you can imagine that's that's where it would ride um, and there's plenty of room of course if you're designing one you could design to easily have two bikes in line or side by side if you design the bed to uh, the bed frame perhaps to move over into the kitchen area um, you can then fit a four-wheeler or what have you so as you can see plenty of room works really well for us uh, if you have comments i'll do my best to answer them although it's my in-laws i'll do my best so please feel free to ask questions down below in the comments and uh Hope you enjoyed it, and hope this gives you some ideas as to how to do something similar. Thanks.